the not too distant future Next Sunday AD There was a guy named Joel Not too different from you or me He worked at Gizmonic Institute Just another face in a red jumpsuit He did a good job cleaning up the place But his boss is getting like him So they shot him in the space NBC mystery uh -huh. movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. May I have another? Oh, sure. yeah. oh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the satellite. I love I'm Joel Robinson. These are my bots. And we're doing a little behavior modification up here on the old satellite of love. You see, every experiment we do, if you've been watching, these two little robots always say... NBC mystery movie. When they see a flashlight in the film, and every time they say... NBC mystery movie. They get a mild but memorable... Oh, boy. 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 Huh. Hey, what was that last one for? Oh, the last one was for, you know, you did it the first time and uh -huh. then you did it again the second time. Oh, right. No. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, did what? Did what? I uh, said NBC mystery movie. Oh! Oh, okay. <laughs> Taste you, All medicine right, doctor. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Dr. Skinner. <laughs> Dark it up. <laughs> yeah. 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 I taste yeah. copper. Yeah. Oh, we'll Can be right you back. Five, okay, let's four, get working on the Snoop Sisters. Hi, everybody. Well, it looks like Mutt and Jeff are in charge of the invention exchange this week, and... And Joel, as everybody knows, that may be you, <laughs> that the olfactory or sense of smell is our greatest memory enhancer. Yes, as opposed to accent seasoning, which is a flavor enhancer. Mm, quite. So now, we have created the world's first scratch and sniff report card. Exactly. Uh, so one scratch and one smell, and parents are transported back to those painful days of junior high. The, the scratch and sniff report card kind of helps take the edge off getting a bad grade. Mm, too true. On account of the smells, I kind of make them remember what school was like then there. <laughs> well Back put. Okay, thing. let me see. Say it's true. It smells like a habit trail pungent. Mm. Exactly. You're in biology class, silly. Uh, try the next one. <laughs> oh, okay. This is my favorite. Ugh, smells like burning acetate and old Dutch cheese curls. <laughs> it's extracurricular activities, Joel, and you're an AV geek, mister. <laughs> well, I join our groovy gang. Let's watch Dr. Hill oh, on Okay, Sunday. well, this next one seems simple enough. What could really happen? Oh, smells like that stuff they put on throw off. <laughs> oh, very observant, Joel. Turns out Letha Smith back is allergic to pink coconut frosting, hence the vomit. Oh. <laughs> Well, whatever, you know, uh, this one you're holding down here smells really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm glad you found it. Uh, this is a special report card uh, my partner Tom and I developed for expense of private academies because, Joel, privilege has its own odor. What do you think, sirs? Hey, I Joel! Grades aren't important. <laughs> it's the SATs that count. <laughs> well, now the good doctor and I would like to make a prediction about the next big trend in entertainment. Move over, comedy clubs. Move over, trendy discussion salons. Move over, karaoke bars. Here comes ventriloquism. Big, broad, sassy, and brassy. And now, Deep 13, in association with George Slaughter Productions, would like to present the ventriloquistic stylings of Dr. Clayton Forrester and his lovable sidekick, Rasasa Annie. 
Hello, uh, this is Rasasa Annie. Uh, we've secured over 2,000 of these previously owned CPR demonstration dolls and retrofitted them with ventriloquist animations uh, in anticipation of the ventriloquist boom of the 90s. And without further ado, uh, it's time to sit back and laugh and learn with Rasasa Annie. <laughs> well, say hello to the nice folks, Rasasa. Hello, nice folks! Oh, oh Rasasa, I implore you to be uh, kind and courteous to these uh, well-meaning and clean uh, people here today. I want to go find some chicks! <laughs> but Rasasa, you is a chick! I, I said, Rasasa, you is a chick! Uh, Frank, uh, something's wrong. It, this looks like the big one. Uh, I'll revive Rasasa and tell Joel about the movie you you dial 911 while drinking water. Uh, your film today, Joel, is a, uh, a, a little film which stars no one. Uh, it features a giant lame lobster and, uh, oh. <laughs> Breathe, two, three, four. It's called Teenagers from Outer Space and it is a spunky load of noodles. Boy, is it ever out there. That's an odd taste. Send him the movie, Frank. Health class food! I, I can't get the stink out. Oh, is he any relation to Christy Love? Get David Love. Yeah. According to Irma Bombeck, all teenagers are from outer <laughs> <Enough> space. <said. laughs> that spaceship looks like a sun hat. No, I think it's a photographer's mm. umbrella. It's a giant metal faucet. Oh, it's a Devo hat. No, no, oh. it's a silo top. It's Audrey Hepburn's hat from breakfast at Tiffany's. Guys, it can be all those things and more. You're right. I like Joel's plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's work with Joel this time. <laughs> and? Oh, oh the great C.R. Oh. Colton Fowler. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm a writer, producer, and director, but I really want a grip. <laughs> run, Toto, run! Oh, it's one town town, the dog that saved Hollywood. Almost. Pac-Man. Meeny, 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 me. I am the Eggman, Uku Kachu. Ooh, now Michael Jackson will want him. Mm -hmm. Sick. Looks like the elephant man in the 25th century. Hmm. Ray Liotta? Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be a spaceman. I know I go from rags to riches. They came all this way to go bowling? Mm -hmm. Wow, really old teenagers from outer space. Mm -hmm. Boy, I should, could sure go for a hamburger sandwich and some french fried potatoes. I'm a teenager after all. Welcome to Death Valley Days. The driver is either me or... But they're all uh, wearing v-necks. It must be student council from outer space. <laughs> you know, a fella could get used to this. Yeah. Cool, they got martial lamps. Ooh. Custom heads. I travel light, just a makeup bag. When TV repairmen walked the earth. Hey, it's Harry Connick Jr. Hmm? You know, you won't see costuming like this until Mark Singer does V. Or Thomas Pynchon does V. I will pet him and keep him and call him George. Sad, really. Yeah. Hmm. Neat. Hungry? Stay. <laughs> oh, okay, whose beeper's that? Now I've got every shade for every complexion. I see you have a machine that goes ping. Huh? What? What? Oh. It's a multi-channel mixer. Says so. 
Report preliminary findings. Thor reporting. I've taken my pill, sir. Two saturation degrees and 96 volumes. A beer on the wall. Immediate fluctuation in Marfan content. Derek reporting. Hi, Derek. Components ratio exceeding 7 to 1.4. More reporting. Diagonal adjustment reading resisting structural forms by 2.8.0 vernum. Saw reporting. Doggone. Cartoid levels intersect planes below point zero. Shannon is gone. They say she drifted out to. Dry as a bone, huh? <laughs> hey, I think I found the top of your thermos. Surface readings register above minimum requirements. Above minimum Burrow. requirements. Go below and bring up the young Gargan specimen. Burber. Now the decision depends on its reactions. Wait, Captain. Hmm? I have found evidence of intelligent beings on this planet. Of what concern are foreign beings? Burber. Of none to you, Thor. Catfight. Just as you were so unconcerned when you destroyed the small creature. Woof. So bravely. It was no more than an insect. But it had life. And that life you had to take to satisfy your endless hunger for killing. Silence! Both of you! He started it. Proceed. Bring the Gargan. That will not be necessary, <laughs> Captain. Mrs. Carmichael, put that laser down. Conditions here will be reported as unsatisfactory. Even disappointing. As they on the other planets we have charted. By what authority? You will prepare for takeoff. The ship will leave this planet immediately. According to our code of operations. We don't the code of operations, Captain. I'm the code of Only operations now. Beings could have made the inscription on this metal piece. We shall not have the thousands of Gargans brought here to destroy them. You have concern for foreign beings over our mission to locate grazing land for our Gargan herds? Yep. Thank you, Recall. Captain Exposition. It is necessary as a reserve food supply for our people. Our people? Bah! We are like parts of a machine. We don't know our fathers or mothers were raised in cubicles. The sick and the old are put to death. It is the one and only way to maintain the supreme race. Have you forgotten that? Our people have forgotten. Uh, maybe you should have brought have this up in a group. have forget for centuries. But I have learned how it once was. Families brothers and sisters there was happiness there was love oh, oh bite me there speak. was not from where have you learned such things i have read i have read from this book oh, a separate piece covered it and kept it hidden somehow it He's survived the, the flames of the annihilators <sighs> now our people were turned into mechanized slaves centuries ago when we return to our planet the high court may well sentence you to torture torture, torture. torture. Death for this treason the high court may That's judge good. me after we have accomplished our mission but the court of art and beauty will back me all the way we'll find an uninhabited planet to which the herds of gargans may be shipped without endangering civilized beings let me see that book i think what our bright young friend is trying to tell us your is... mind so heavily you may have it it's called Iron John. Bring up the Gargan. I'll need an Epicac. You were a fool, Derek. A mad, this wonderful fool. This book has poisoned fool. your mind, and you shall suffer for it. Captain, if the Gargans are shipped here, the inhabitants may destroy them. Hmm. That possibility alone makes it worthwhile to locate an uninhabited planet. It certainly is a whisper-thin is lad, isn't it? made mm. you forget many things. We are the supreme race. We have the supreme weapons. We have the supreme pizzas. Keep him under guard, Thor. I will study the reactions of the young Gargan. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. Now, I like you, Trevor, but you're screwy. You got it? I'm the fellow wearing the Roscoe, see? I like games, but they don't like me. Before the High Court has you executed, you should be made to watch what happens when we return here with the Gargans. By the elements alone, they will grow to millions of times their original size in less time than it takes for the sun to rise and fall. You mean a day? Mm -hmm. It thrives, Captain. Thrive, Captain, thrive. We shall return to our base and lead the transport ships here. Soon, this planet will be covered with full-grown gargons. And I will rule the a world! safe distance from our planet, yet their meat will be available to us for the harvesting. It's not just back the instruments. I shall radio back the news of our success. Derek, the sensitive spaceman. You'll pay for this! Captain, oh! Captain something has gone wrong. 
Ah, cramony, what, what now? What? What? Has what? Happened? I do not know. It suddenly fell limp and now does not move. Assemble Hold the my finger. This is hooking the gas grading instruments. Hey, quick. Quick, quick. Hey, maybe you shouldn't have put him in a snare drum. Mm -mm. Mm. I don't know. They're going to get him cable. Mm. Peter Arnett had one of those. The atmosphere here tested above minimum. Wage. But the Gargan species cannot live due to excessive nitrogenic gas compounds emitted in our preliminary diagnosis. Try saying that three times fast. Then this I planet will be reported as unsuitable. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Repack the instruments and prepare for takeoff. This bites. We will continue our search in another solar system. Yes. And when we yes. return to our home yes. base, you will be presented to the High Court with the evidence against you. For, for torture! torture! For Saul. Mort Saul? Find the prisoner and prepare him for the isolation huh? chamber. What's the question? I will make contact with base. Okay. He is escaping! Oh, gotta go. Be back. Go for it! Moses? Moses? How did he get free? He escaped from Saul. I could have stopped him. Derek is to be brought back alive. He is the son of our leader. Derek? I reported his actions and was connected with the leader himself. Real nice guy. He told me this. He said Derek does not know. As the son of our leader, the High Court will pardon him. Oh, yeah, he's he a candidate. Oh, yeah. When the sky is light, we will begin to search what, for him. What, it is Captain, light. What look at you... this. The Gargan. It is not dead. I'm not dead. I'm getting better. It has revived. Paging Mr. Herman. It flourishes. The excessive nitrogenic gas compound shocked its system. Now it thrives on the very same compounds. Then this planet is suitable. Himself. Completely. I must resume radio vision contact. Hold my Hello? finger. Hold so? my finger. Secure the Gargan by expandable leg bands. Expandable leg attains. bands? Yes, sir! Yeah. The size it attains by the time we return will give us Again an with exact a finger. growth rate to expect of the herds. How much are you getting paid, Phil? Mind my At asking? At the rate the Gargan is expected to grow, what will prevent it from tearing loose the leg bands and escaping from the cave? Shut up, Gomer. We shall be back before that happens, unless it should receive food in excess of the atmospheric element. We will leave nothing else for it to consume. Oh, you've really relieved me. Thanks, loads. Thousands of beasts like that. Ah, of keep times me moist. Life. I should be in water. <laughs> all over this planet. They will be harvested from the air, so there will be no danger to us. Let us be quick. I do not like to look upon it. Let us implement contractions. Hmm? Boo! Hmm. Now that you report the planet is suitable for our purposes, you are to return here immediately and prepare to leave the transport ships there. But, sir, Derek's your hand puppet... Would now mean difficulty in our operation should he communicate in any way with the inhabitants, inferior though they may be. <laughs> if we are to return now, how can he be stopped? Over. Leave your best man to find Derek and inform him he is my son. I will join you on the return trip to meet him there. He may be stubborn. He has already threatened our lives. Hmm. If that becomes the case, he... He must be destroyed. What, what about any torture? He might communicate. They must be destroyed. Your orders are complete. Oh, wow. I shall send my best man. Whoa, oh. <clears throat> nothing, nothing, nothing. I heard the orders, Captain. Hmm. Let me... Entertain you. I'm Derek. You will wait until the sky is light enough to begin the search. It is light! We will leave now and return here to meet you when we bring the Gargans. Hmm? Go back to your planet, space teens! Do not fail, for I shall not fail. You fail! You cannot beat us! We're the people! We'll poop on you! Run your fastest! Jump your highest! <laughs> Look at that stupid jumpsuit belted at the waist. <laughs> uh, yours is nice. The loneliness of the alien runner. Life is simple here in Grover's Corner. Gene Davey. Ah! Don't do 
Are you my daddy? Jim Henson's Beretta Babies. Let's watch as an alien visits one of our friendly Texaco stations. Can I help you, sir? Yes, uh, I... Fill her up, please. Would... Would you tell me the meaning of the inscription on this metal piece? What, do I look like the Shell Anson Man? Oh, oh, Sparky. that's right, I am. <laughs> 1243 Willowcrest Drive. That's just three blocks down there and a few doors up. You can't miss it. Hmm? Damn illegal aliens. Hey! What's what you're doing now? <gasps> sorry, oh, Senator sorry. Holmes. I <laughs> was oh, just trying to make out what kind of clothes that guy was wearing. Looks like some kind of military uniform. Wonder where he's from. Could be from Mars, for all I care. Hurry up there, boy, will you? I haven't got all day. Light a cigar, buddy. Oh, no, we forgot to ask the Earth person what a block was. Excuse me, is that a Sanzibel jumpsuit? Hop in, I'll give you a lift. Lift? Well, it's a long way into town. Town? Okay, it's all right with me. Wait. It's Vince Sutton. It's Sergeant Carter. I'm looking for Sarah Connor. He scooched right next to the guy. Never saw a uniform like that before. Boy. What brings you here? Sugar Beet Festival, I you? I am searching for someone. Maybe I can help you. Know a lot of folks around these parts. I am searching for someone you could not know. Oh, Riddle, huh? One of them funny word puzzle jokes. I like yeah, them. Yeah. Levittown, community of the future. This looks like a nice place to bring your kids up. Out 20 minutes ago, Grandpa, and it's still here. He's probably still out chasing gophers. Sweet Hello. Winona. Mm -hmm. You've come to see our room for rent? Uh, What's that? A fellow to see the room for rent, Grandpa. You show it to him, will you? Joe will be by for me in a minute. We're going swimming at Alice's, and I haven't even changed yet. Whoa. Wait, I just came well, to say I in. killed your dog. You're Harry Connick, aren't you? Yeah. I'm Betty Morgan, and this is my grandfather. Now, how do you do, son? Oh, my finger. <laughs> you can't. I'm kidding. Just arrived in town? Don't believe I've seen you around before. I just arrived. Hmm. And your name? Derek. Derek. Mm -hmm. The empty room belonged to my brother, Bud. He's married now and lives upstate. <laughs> your brother? You knew your brother? Did I know my brother? That's a strange question to ask. Grandpa raised us both since we were kids after Mom and Dad died. I am sorry. I. It's just that I never knew any brothers or sisters. <laughs> Your mother and father decided to play it smart and avoid a lot of squabbles around the house. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> I never knew my mother or father. Oh, boo-hoo. Look, I've got problems, well, too. Let's take a look at the room, and if you like it, you're welcome to stay. It's this way. I'll show it to you. Hey, I thought you were getting ready to go swimming. No, that can wait. Right now the there, teen Dad, dreams here. <laughs> Kill them. What's the matter? You act like you've never seen the inside of an automobile before. What is this? The gear shift. Where have you been all your life? Where have you been all my life? Tell me what it is for. Now look, mister. I didn't offer you a ride to give no driving lesson. Tell me! Why do you look like Hoyt Axton? Oh, sure. I didn't mean anything. Here's the clutch. When I push it in, I change gears. Low, second, and high. And to halt the vehicle? When I want to stop, I press the brake. Right here. And this? The starter and ignition mm -hmm. switch. Mm -hmm. And the fuel, what does it use? Are you kidding? Mm -hmm. Gasoline, of course. Mm -hmm. Here's the gas pedal. You know, right for here. all its pitfalls, this movie mm -hmm. educates That's as well as entertains. Mm -hmm. Ever think about that? You know, Joel, that old grandpa guy was way too nice when he rented that room to the teenager from outer space. A real-life landlord would never be like that. 
Why, yes, things that happen in the movies are different from the way they happen in real life. Right, Tom. So here from our look at the lighter side department, we'd like to introduce a new segment called Real to Real. <laughs> Let's check it out. Move aside, you guys. Oh, thank you. You see? There it is. In real life. Well, you're offered a free room and board until you can get a job and pay back your rents. In real life. If you're late with your rent, your room is padlocked, and you end up living in a refrigerator box. In real life. Your roommate is a beautiful young woman who fills your life with afternoon swims, moonlit drives, and the promise of romance. In real life. Your roommate is a stinky high school dropout who fills your life with head lice, crusty laundry, and furry cans of SpaghettiOs. In real life. Your landlord is a rosy-cheeked, cheerful old man. In real life. Your landlord's a butane addict who sneaks into your apartment and looks through your underwear drawer. In real life. There's a big fat drunk guy sleeping on your couch. And in real life, there's a big fat drunk guy sleeping on your couch. <laughs> These are just a few of the differences uh, yes. in real uh. life and real life. Stay with us on our look on the lighter side department for some of those everyday befuddlements that come at us in such a humorous way. Like dieting. I just look at a piece of bread and I gain five pounds. Look at Crow here. You can eat ten banana splits and not gain an ounce. I hate them. And Mondays, what are you going to do? Don't even talk to me till I've had my coffee in the I morning. Can't stand him when what he's about like this? starting the car? Have you thought about it? My hip hurts. Why? It's not, oops. No, oh. What's he reading? Prostrate World News? The prostate. I asked him where he was from, Grandpa, and he just said he was from very far away. Greenwich Village, maybe. Well, maybe he doesn't like to talk about where he's from. With the looks of his outfit, I'd say he's raised in a private school of some sort. He must go to that parochial school Grandpa, down the road. If he just got into town and can't pay the rent until he gets a job or something, would you? Well, what do you say, young man? What do you think of the room? Tough room, huh? You will let me live here with you? Well, sure. That's why we had the sign up. That's why you came here, wasn't it? <clears throat> Not Jeepers, exactly. this dog yes. takes a gold mine. I was just talking to Grandpa. And, well, if you don't have the rent money right away, that could wait until he gets a job, couldn't it, Grandpa? Mm, why, sure. That's all right with me, Betty. Sucker. But then if he doesn't like the room... I like it here very much. Yes, thank you. I would like to stay. Fine. I'll go out and take down the sign. Uh, you can use the phone to have your bags brought over. You have a bellboy, too? My bags? I have nothing else. No other clothes or anything? We were not allowed to. Uh, I mean... I wet him. My uniform is all I have. Gosh, you've got to have more than that. A Bud left some of his clothes in the closet, Grandpa. Couldn't Derek use some of them? Of course, my dear. Bud wouldn't mind a bit, I'm sure. Oh, golly, that's Joe. He's from Put Venus. Well, whatever you like from the closet, Derek. I'll be right back. Make yourself at home. Just stay out of my clothes. Hi there, Joe. Hi, Gramps. Betty, I'm afraid I can't make the swimming date. Not till later, anyway. Got a sudden assignment for the paper. Oh, gosh, what <laughs> Riveting. Now, Joe? I have a list of folks to interview. Say they saw a new flying saucer last night. That sounds like it might take you all day. I hope not. I'll call you as soon as I get through, okay? Okay, Joe. Well, why don't you ask the alien who's staying with you about those? Yeah, I guess a reporter's life can be pretty hectic. You never know when a news story will break. I was just thinking. Don't Maybe say it. Don't spray like it, dear. If you let us borrow the car. Betty would have that. Uh, if you don't think Alice would mind. <laughs> you don't know Alice. I won't be able to keep him apart. <laughs> See, stay calm, uh, act natural. Uh, can I interest you in a Texaco Christmas album? <laughs> hey, what's going on in town anyway, mister? A convention or something? Well, I'm a Trekkie. Well, those clothes you're wearing. I talked to a guy this morning who was wearing the same kind of outfit. Maybe the guy you're looking for, huh? You spoke to him? What did he tell you? Where did he go? Hey, what's the matter with you? Hey, take your hands off me. I work you for tell Texaco. Me what he said to you. Oh, why should I? Hey, who do you think you are, anyway? Answer me, or I destroy you. He came here with a dog tag. Wanted to know about the address, and I told him how to find it. Where? 
Where did you send him? It was an address on Willow Crest Drive. Look, it's Who creeping out, now, mister. Tell me how to get there. Just drive down there about three blocks. That's, that's Willow Crest. Oh, 1243, it's only a few doors up. Uh oh. <gasps> uh, looks like a Jenny Craig Ray. Oh. Oh, guess it's a self-serve now, huh? <laughs> Come on, baby, out, out, I'll drive now. Rattle and bones. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You don't have to put the brake on so hard, Derry. That is, unless you want us to go through the windshield every time. Right. I've never piloted a vehicle like this before. I will try again. Uh, this time, pull in there. That's Dallas's house. Xanadu, stately home of Charles Foster Kane. Cost, no one can say. Oh, much better. Wait, Betty. Uh, you have toilet paper on your shoe. <clears throat> when I came to your place, it was because of... Uh, I'm all mixed up inside. I had just arrived here. I, I did not know where else to go, but everything was so strange to me. I... Oh, that's great. Can we just go in the I'm house? I'm glad you came. So is Grandpa. Grandpa? Without any family or friends, you wouldn't like it at a hotel or any place like that. <laughs> Come on, I hope Alice can dig up some swim trunks for uh, you. I have never piloted swim trunks before. Operator, there's a naked girl in my pool and she's nude! <laughs> Hi there! Likewise, I'm sure. Joe couldn't make it, Alice. I talked Derek into coming along. Derek, this is Alice. Derek! Hey, I like that. <laughs> Come on in, the water's fine. And so uh, am I. Mm. Swim trunks. I couldn't find any at my house. No problem at all. He can wear a pair of my father's. They've got the support the panel. Gone today and saw the servants. We have the whole place to ourselves. <laughs> Where are the trunks, Alice? Hanging up right over there. Earth girls are <laughs> easy. <laughs> Or maybe you better put them on with some clothespins, too. Oh, she case. makes everything so sound so dirty. Anyway. Over there at the bathhouse. Huh? What was that? Don't worry, I'll get it. Probably just a silly old plot point. This is what I wanted to tell you about. <clears throat> the reason I came to your place, when I did not know where else to go. Heck, I thought it was a 50 cent piece at least. <laughs> Derek, Derek killed your dog. Derek killed your dog. <laughs> But Sparky's... Sparky's dog tag. Where on earth did you find it? Well, after when caving in his head with a shovel, I, I uh, uh... One of them destroyed a small creature. Later, I found that among the remains. You mean somebody killed Sparky? <laughs> oh, no, Derek, it can't be true. Why would anyone want to kill Sparky? Because he was a schnauzer. I yeah, hate I'm those things. Tell me who did it, Derek. They are gone now. Only I remained. But I don't understand. Where is Spark? Key. Sparky. Will you take me to where it happened? I'll get dressed and come with you. No, Alice, please. Don't get dressed. You mm -hmm. stay here. We'll see you later. Hmm. It's the news review coming right at you. <laughs> well, well, so Derek didn't come into town alone. If you're looking for him, he isn't here now. He and Betty, uh, that's my granddaughter, they went over to the Woodwards. Why don't you go on over there? He's spritzing all over. glad to have you joined in the fun. Yes. How do I go there? Let me count the, the ways. Straight on down the street, about three miles, just before you get to the park. Got the biggest house in the block down there. You can't miss it. Just like you can't miss me. <laughs> Where are you fellas from, anyway? Don't believe I've seen uniforms like yours before. I like you, Gramps. That's why I killed you last. Military secret, eh? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Derek didn't say where he's from, either. Have you met my granddaughter? Well, we keep you. You're probably anxious to see him. Don't leave your dog in the car on a hot day. Ouch. <laughs> Oof. Sparky! Here, Sparky! Sparks! Sparks! Here, boy! Here, boy! Oh, you stink pain hot. Oh, burn. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Where is he, Derek? Ugh. You don't mean those old bones. You can see they've been here for a very long time. Be a Louis no. Leakey all of a sudden? It was among these remains that I found the metal inscription. But this couldn't be Sparky. Sparky had skin. Mm -hmm. I know. He must have been here and his collar tag fell off. That's all. Hey, wake up and smell the collie. You are not familiar with the focusing disintegrator ray? Yeah, my aunt has one. It projects an isolated beam which separates the molecules of living material in chain reaction. It slices. Oh, it but dices. The, solids, the skeletal braces. Horrible. Yet effective. And you mean Sparky? But over there is what happened when the same beam was aimed at me. It missed and became a tree. That is what is left. Good heavens, Derek. You've got to explain it to me. Why were they doing this? Where were they from? How did you? But who took the frames out of the film? <laughs> Hello, Hura. Well, hello. At ease, what soldier. Can I do for you? you are alone? Could be. Where are the others? Mm. The ones who were with you. Why do you want to know that? Tell me where they are. Miss Hathaway, the early years. Never mind. Ooh. Just tell me. Well, they left here. Hmm. They're gone. Where did they go? I think you better get out of here before I call the police. You will call no one. You will do as I say. Uh -oh. That's what you think, <sighs> Mr. Pat Boone's the stand in here. This is bogus. I'm going to the deep end. I said you will call no one. Uh -oh. Oh, too, too much chlorine. Mm. Yes, folks, proof you can be too rich and too thin. Hey, she just changed into the same dress. Mm -hmm. Who decorated this house? Wailing flowers? Darren Corns. Ooh, ooh. Uh, Gramps started early today. Oh, Grandpa, I bought that NyQuil for colds, not for you to make NyQuiladas. Dear Gramps, I cannot continue to live this way. And the post-it note was born. Grandpa, I left a note for you by the phone for when you wake up. Grandpa, Grandpa. The spider spider's all over me. Oh. It's Gramps. He's got the flu again. Grandpa was asleep, so I left a note so I'll know where we went. If I know Grandpa, we'll be back before he even wakes up. If he ever wakes up. <laughs> Uh, uh, still Getty, Myrna Loyal, and Gil. It's the new Jew review coming back at you. It's quite an amazing thing when the animals look. Mm, hello. Hello, Gramps. <laughs> this is Joe. Betty there? No, so she and Derek went out over to the Woodward's pool. Mm. Uh, you could probably mm. reach her over there. Mm. Derek? Who's Derek? Oh, you haven't met him yet, have you? He's Betty's new yeah, regular Saturday night thing. This morning. Seems like a nice fellow. At oh? first. Well, the reason I called, I wanted to tell Betty I stumbled onto a double murder story that may keep me longer, but, well, after I get the story into the paper, I'll, I'll go on over to Alice's and see her there. A double Ooh. murder, Joe? When was it? Where? We're not sure yet, Gramps. There's only a couple of skeletons. And they're not talking. Oh, when the coroner gets here. Oh, oh, well, we don't need to see that, no. Joe! Okay. Joe, I just found a note. Joe! What do you know? Hello. Hello, Hello Joe, what do you know? Just got back from Kokomo. I got it. He looks like uh, Ethel Waters. Yeah. <laughs> My golly, you missed him at the pool. On huh? a killing spree, huh? Sorry. Uh, Betty left me a note. Now they've gone over to the college to see Professor Simpson. Give me that. Hey, room 222. Hmm. You know, school always smells the same when you go back. Mm -hmm. Yep. Smells like shame, guilt, and humiliation. Hey, Sylvia Plath. Hello. Hmm. Where can we find Professor Simpson? This is his office, but he hasn't come it's in yet. Barbie's Malibu dream Let's desk. Let's the faculty <laughs> parking lot. It's just around the building. You may wait here if you like. No, thank you. We'll wait outside. Your desk embarrasses us. Tiny. Now I'll show you my old locker. I wonder if I still remember the combination. 
Come on, it's a nice day for a white wedding. Nice day. Uh, Miss Hathaway, Jethro wants to be a rock star. <laughs> Good morning, Professor Simpson. Oof. Uh, call a burn uh, yeah. pronto. The questionnaires come in. It's like a crispy George Gobel. I'll go down and see if they're ready. Poor guy. Shaved her legs and then he was a shield. That's Professor Simpson's office. The third door down. He's head of the science department. Yeah, if you throw up or need some sawdust, just call me. He must be somewhere else on campus. We better go back to his office and wait. Hello? This is Simpson, science department. What are you I wearing? Put that down. What hmm. is the meaning of this? Do as I say. Who are you? Where is he? The one who came with information for you. Who? You are making some mistake. I am making no mistake. Make Where no did mistake. he go? Make Out no there. Bones about I it. don't know what you're talking about. You will speak to no one else. Well, that ray gun works well, but you can't get the stink out. Oof. Never toasted somebody that old before. Uh, Oof. Smells like the primate house in here. <laughs> Jeepers. Uh, 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 oh, oh, wait a little. Uh. She was a fast machine. She kept her motor oh, clean. Oh, yes, I know. He came in right after you left. Hmm? Hold my calls, will you? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! <laughs> I'll be taking lunch, Hilda. <laughs> oh, Derek. Oh, it's some kind of foolish joke. I'm not going to keep a job where this sort of thing goes on. Is that the straw that broke the camel's back? Yep. I want to believe what I'm thinking isn't true, but... It was a focusing disintegrator. Then whoever killed Sparky... Used a focusing disintegrator. But you said they'd gone. For some reason, they want to stop me. Somehow we were traced here. I want you to get in your vehicle and go to a place where you will be safe. Hmm? But how could they... Grandpa. What? I left a note for Grandpa. <sighs> they must have... Oh, Grandpa squealed! I will go to your place. No, they may be waiting for you there. I can call Grandpa. Here, Grandpa! Here, boy. Here, Grandpa. Hey, room for one, buddy. Oh, goody, somebody needs a room. Hello? Oh, Grandpa, thank heaven. Derek, he's all right. Betty, what is it, child? What's the matter? Sure. Grandpa, was somebody there? Somebody you told we were at the college? Yes. yes. Did he find you okay? He's a murderer. He killed Professor Simpson, Grandpa. He's after Derek, and he's probably on the way back to the house right now. Well, does he need a room? But are the police... Don't argue, Grandpa. Just This call out is coming there. from inside the we're house. We're at the city hall police station right now. Meet us there. Don't worry about me, Betty. I'll leave right away. I'll pack Goodbye, a bag of trusses honey. and be out in the middle. Uh, 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 I better call the police. Nichols, check for I'm Nichols. With what weapons are they equipped? Well, guns. Why? Guns that emit what? Love. Bullets. Why? What do you mean? Bullets. Centuries old invention against. Hello, operator. Give me the police department. Hurry. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. Amongst our weaponry, ah, I fear, surprise. Well, this is pretty nice. I don't think I want to destroy this house after all. Boy, it sure was a nice place. Guy could really rent a room here. Mm-hmm. Sure would like to rent one of these rooms. Oh, doo -doo -doo. Yes, we'll be there right away. Thank oh. you. Good, Betty, I got a hair appointment with Jose. There. I want you to go somewhere else where you will be safe. We're safer than the city hall. The police said they're going to have armed guards waiting for us on the front step. Neat. I told them we'd be right there. Let's hurry. What's us hurry? I'm scurrying. I'm thinking it's the new <laughs> zoo view. Come in dance and get to it's a zoo. You guys, the waste receptacle's in position. Are you ready? Roger, roger. Okay, I'm about to jettison the snacks into space. Here they go.
da -da -da -da. There is no smoking in this auditorium. Da -da -da. And now we invite you to enjoy our feature presentation. Ta -da -da -da. <laughs> Alien Crossing. Oh. Wow, he's going to turn City Hall into the Museum of Natural History. Uh -oh. I guess you can fight City Hall. There yeah. you go. Snap, crackle, pop, Rico, Lee. Watch out, it'll turn you into a deadhead. Oh, oh. Well, only a flesh wound. Too late. I'm hit! I'm hit, Charlie! I'm hit! What's that thing in his head? Oh, there he is in real bullets, those bastards! Cover me. <laughs> oh. oh, that was fun now. Where were we? Shall we chase him or knock off for coffee? What do you, you think, guys? Slipped off that way. Come on. Go hang Bob in my office. Stay undercover. Undercover Ranger. Ooh. Midnight. Hmm. Hey, Scoop! <laughs> ah, they Jim, went that away. Jimmy Olsen here. Betty, thank the Lord you're safe. I just came from Alice's. There was a skeleton in the pool. Alice? Alice? <laughs> oh, no! We came to meet Grandpa. The grief. murderer came in the car with him. What? But hmm? how did you get mixed up in this? Since he killed Sparky out by the old mine. It sounds like Betty Boop all of a sudden. Joe. And he forced Gramps to drive here? He is, is insane. Gramps? Is he okay? <laughs> yes, he... Well, there he is trying to get across the street. Stay, Grandpa, stay. stay. I'll go over and help him across. It's the last Boy Scout. I have often walked down the street before, but I've never done it packing heat before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Busy. What are you doing down here? Go into the building. That is the safest place. Hmm? What? What? Look. Pick up pepper sauce. Here on the sidewalk, drops of blood. Betty, go into Morning the sign. building. Ding, ding, ding. Derek. Hmm? Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Give me the weapon you have, Derek. Hey, it's a tube of Slowly. crust. He must be a cavity One fighter. One sudden move and I slay you both. I'll try to control you. Derek, do as he says. What? That's Luger. Get in! Okay, okay, I'm getting in. Jeez, what a grouch. You will take me to a man of surgery to remove the metal pellets from my flesh. Well, that it's 2.30. They're probably all right. golfing. He must do as he says. I know a doctor's office. We'll take him there. She is very wise. Oh, you like her? Now go! Hmm. Yeah, and I want a Jolly Rancher fire stick when I'm done, too. Oh. Watch your space cushion. Slow, slow. Oh. Oh, well. And that's the way it happened. I'm Walter Cronkite. Next thing I knew, he was trying to fire out the window at Betty and Derry. He's hmm? talking to Clifford I Irving. The oh, car no. and... See, where is Betty? Where is, where is, where is Betty? Betty? That's funny. <laughs> she must be around someplace. But the car's gone. They must have left without me. I get the hint, Gramps? Well, don't worry, Gramps. You'll get an escort home. I'm going to phone the story into the paper and then drive out to the old mine Betty mentioned. Mm -hmm. The old mine? What's out old there? Mine? I don't know. That's where she said Sparky was killed by the guy. How come I always Sparky, have to do the expositions? Dog? She didn't tell me about that. Hey, Mac, over here. Blood spots on the sidewalk. The car's so been bleeding that car here. that was parked here. That's it. That's how the killer got away. In our car? Then Betty and Derek... Now, you guys aren't FBI. You're from there. Foreman and Clark. You've got to do something. You've got to find them. Nope. Hot child in the city. This is it, Derek. That's Dr. Brandt there. He looks like he's leaving. Stop him. Block his path. Mm -hmm. Looking good and feeling pretty. Hot hey, child. you blocked my path. Is there some emergency? I have a house call to make. Office hours don't begin for another hour. Go inside, all of you. Ooh. I say, what is this? And you say it rather woodenly. Holding a gun on us, Dr. Brandt. Where? We had to bring him here. Where? Oh, I see it now. He wants bullets removed. 
I see. Well, I don't I'm see, I cannot but... be of any help. You will need hospital facilities for anything else. Be silent and get inside. Oof. You will remove the pellets here. Now, leave these people alone, Thor. He's so gentle. Where is our mm -hmm. ship? I will take you there. No, it is gone. Do as I say. Derek, please. Doctor, you must try. Mm hmm. Ah, criminy. Come on, dummy. He's going to a hat party. Mine was the grandest of all, too. Big feathered boy in the bag, too. Well, you'll have to wait an hour. It's standard procedure. Ah, uh, sorry about the mess. This kind of doubles as my room. I just got to clean a few things up here. You'll have to lie down here. I will prepare an anesthetic. The pain will be great. I will not be drugged. You will simply remove the pellets. Well, uh, I won't be using this then. Both of you, sit there. I shall keep you covered. I did not say Simon Indeed. says. One treacherous mm -hmm. move and they pay with their lives. Now proceed. In iambic pentameter. Shall I compare thee to a fleshy wound? Hey, what's a turkey roasting pan doing in the office? Mm -hmm. If he dies, it can make soup. Hey, they put together all differently. You're a willowy young thing, aren't you? He likes that. Oh, looks like your poppers come up. Oh, that's your nipple. Thor. Yes, it is. Very Thor. Tell me why you have been searching for me. It must have been important for you to have the gargana to be raised here. Oh, yeah, the lobsters. I forgot. You could not be allowed to run free. But the specimen reaction was negative. It was verified positive after you escaped. The captain should have let me kill you when I had a chance. <laughs> and why didn't he? I saw him stop you when you fired at me. Because... He likes the cut of your chin. Because he just learned that... that you were the son of our leader. I'm David Eisenhower. That makes you Julie Nixon. Nice deli. Huh. That's cigarette butt. The hell's that doing in there? Mm. Suddenly it's Carnival of Souls. Huh? Look. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. come on. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Then if I'm not to be killed, why did you fire at me in the city? Your life or death was put in my hands. A traitor does not deserve to be our next leader. The only reason you do not fire now is to force attention to your wounds. Hmm. When that is done... Proceed! Yeah, okay. Let's see here. Remove funny bone. Ha, ha, ha. Well... Here's a little bugger that's causing all the trouble. <laughs> okay, hop and down, put your clothes must on. Be applied to your wounds, and you will need bandages. I recommend I sea breeze astringent. <laughs> no insurance. Sad, really. Hot blooded, check it and see. Uh, and yeah, Uncle Henry, you were there, and you, and you, and you. Yeah. Yes. Where was I on the night of the 14th? Come back! I'll, I'll find you! It's Brian Ferry. Love is the drug for him. Uh, you're in here? I know you are. But what am I? I'll find you. And then you'll be it. All right, did you stop, Grandpa? Out, baby, out, out, out! My nurse, Miss Moss, she'll be arriving for office mm -hmm. hours. Boy, the old guy moves when he wants to. Yeah, good trust on him. Uh, got to solve the jumble. I can oh. hear you. Tommy, I can, hear, I can you, hear you. I can feel you near me. You, you cannot escape me. I'm Charles Foster Kane. I'll find you! I'll find you! I'll find you! There you are! You're in a sailboat, all of us! Oh, here comes the SS nerves. Ding, 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 Here we are, folks. Cause I'm a sex shooter shooting love in your direction. What? 
Oh, the doctor left another young one bleeding on the stoop again. <sighs> Have you been waiting long? Hmm? Dr. Brandt? Dr. Brandt! There's a dead spaceman to see you, sir. Smart is running down She's here. already left. Okay, goodbye then. Uh, not very courteous. Hmm. Wesson Oil on a wound? Yeah, she's not Florence Nightingale, she's Florence Henderson. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, every time I'm about to swab. Uh. Picture your cell phone or train in the station. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And marshmallows. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me, I don't give a damn. Next step is Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It must be that nice Adam Rich boy calling for his prescription again. Do, 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 do. Oh. Dr. Brandt's office. Miss I'm Ford. Dr. Frank. Heavens, I've reached you. This is Dr. Brandt. Where are oh, you, Brent. Doctor? There's an emergency patient here. I've done all I can. For Listen, Miss Moss. He's a murderer. Because Pepperidge Farm remembers. We were fortunate in escaping. You must get out of there. A murderer. We'll no, I police. said murderer. He could revive at any moment. Y y yes, doctor. Uh, I'll leave immediately. You will come with me. Put that down. Miss Moss, Miss Moss, what is it? He doesn't have any insurance. Then don't lift a finger. What do you want? You will help me to escape. Go out. Wait a minute, Miss Moss. Just leave your bones by the door. Miss Moss! Miss Moss! Nobody ask for a ray gun. You put that right away. That vehicle. Is that how you arrived? Yes, that's in my style. car. Get in. You will take me where I say. If you disobey, you will be killed. Yeah, I hope your bandages stick to your scabs, you son of a. The police are on the way, Doctor Brand. They. It's no use. I was too late. They're gone. I wasn't the Thor fifth caller. Has escaped. But how could he? You said he would be helpless that... Without aid. But my nurse, she didn't know. She bandaged him. Gave him an injection. He revived. Then they played oh. Jimi Hendrix. Bad We've day at Black Rock, the eh? They might be able to do something. I'll no, no, them. that would be telling. I'll tell them what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Schultz, creator of the Peanuts. Who are you again? Oh, my girlfriend. Okay. Oh, have I got a nervous tummy. The thinker. Don't worry, Derek. Thor will be caught. They're sure to find him eventually. <laughs> it is what I know is coming here. Lend me a tenor? A gargan. Mm. They are small when young. But they'll cry, but they attain the oh, yeah. The size of this building in no more than a day. But can't you stop? Only if they're willing to stop themselves. The only chances to duplicate the operation of the disintegrator. We'll need a shoestring and a picture of Eve Arden. The, the men of science here might be able Pictures to do it me. if they could get oh. Thor's as a model. If only there is enough time. You know, this little dog's become quite a tourist attraction around here. Yeah. Arf. You know, I don't get this guy. It's not a guy, it's a human. dog. He just seems to like killing. <laughs> There's more to it than that, Joe. There's something behind this, something we don't understand. Like the new man. The weapon he uses, it's unheard of. Blasting flesh right off the bone. Really a waste. Look at that yeah. tree over there. Used it for target practice by the looks of it. Yeah, it's pretty far-fetched, Bob. Let's take a look in the old cave. Row, row, row. Come on, Sane! Row, row, row your boat. Where are you we going? You've got to tell me. So I know where to turn. It is not far now. You can't escape. The police will find you. Possibly they will. It kind of looks like a mountain. I'm barricaded now. in the mouth of a cave with you as hostage and me with this. How long do you oh, think you can like hold out that way? Long enough. There will not be too long to wait. Vertigo, suspicion, north by. Ah, uh, you know. Why do you seek the living among the dead? Hey, bring your flash bulbs up here. This tunnel is black as pitch. Okay, I'll be right up. And it's filled with chili. It's a tunnel of chili, like a Hormel hot dog. Get it? Hmm. Grover's in there. Should I bring more flash bulbs? Uh-oh. An intruder already. 
No! I won't let you kill anyone. You'll kill someone over my dead body. I see you do not value your life. Much. He's getting away. Follow him. No. Dare refuse. <laughs> hey, hey, that's where I draw the line. Pistol whipping. Me on the tree. I hate that. After him, Scoop! The well, reporter's running away from the story. Kind of like the year of living sensibly. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't see this shot in movies very often, do you? No, uh, mm -hmm. no this is just like misery. What do you mean, this is misery? Mm -hmm. Well said. San Diego Freeway, the early years. Menopause can feel like a speeding car chase. I've got a headache this big, and it's got this movie written all over it. Whoa, he shouldn't be driving without corrective lenses. Oh. It's May the Super Nurse Osborne. Ooh. Do, 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 ah, what do you know? Do, 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 Valley parking. How'd I do that? Oof. Those easy spirit pumps saved her hash. Well, she's fine, but these stains will never come out. Are you hurt badly? I, I don't think so. Well, then down it the hill with you. Bruised. Oh, thank heavens, it's over. It was like a nightmare. Only I wasn't aboard that pirate ship over. with my... Oh. Oh, what do you mean? Back in the cave where he shot at me. Some kind of man-eating monster. Poor Mac, the guy I was with. I could hear the thing tearing him apart. He Sounded was delicious. Oh, oh, that Captain horrible. Crunch. Mm. What could it have been? I don't like know. soda crackers. But whatever it is, I'm afraid the nightmare has just begun. Da -da -da -da. Mm -hmm. Crash just below here. If that disintegrator is down there, I'm going to find it. Mm -hmm. Derek, I just thought. Well, stop that. The monster that escaped from the cave. He it could rent my brother's room. Time we were. Mm. What I can't figure out is why did it escape when it did? Why not sooner? Why do I love it like it I do? It would have been large enough, but the man it consumed increased its growth rate. Stupid then, old man. How big would it be now? There is no telling. Have you seen Listomania? <laughs> you stay here. Keep the door closed. Oh, and if a strange looking lobster comes knocking, ignore it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's the Rockford car, and there's mm. a Starsky and Hutch car, and mm. oh. Close by Charlie McCarthy. Yeah, no, no Easter eggs here. The hills have crabs. Pretty. I'm getting hot. Why didn't he crack a window? Derek? Derek, can I have the keys so I can listen to the radio at least? Ah, Queen's Anne's Lace, Morning Glory, Buttercups. Hmm. It's Andrew Wyeth Valley. No, Betty, go back. It's too dangerous for you. We can find you. that thing twice as fast if we both look. <laughs> Well, as long as we're down here. You make me angry. But I like you very much. In a moment, the moon will come from behind a cloud. What is this, a Birdman film all of a sudden? Testune de Herdofon. De Duve. De Duve. Light from your moon, it will help. Fundus given der face. Flondis. Found. Where are you from, Derek? A place called Studsville. Population of me. I think I know. I think I've known for some time. You are one weird mamma jamma. You're not from this world, are you? You're from the valley, aren't you? I did not know how to tell you. I'm from Jersey. Seems impossible to believe. Believe it or not. You're so much like us. Wait until you see my tongues. Brother, mm. Grandpa, when he was young. Had a liver. And to think. We were made the same. 
How inconvenient. The only difference is that we were put on places far, far apart. Oh, now he's going to sing Ebony and what Ivory. Like? Oh, no. Where are you from? Babies like are Disneyland without the rice. like livestock, parented by the most perfect specimens of our race. Hmm. Sounds nice. If you become ill, you are put to death. Hmm. Massachusetts, As are the Island. old. So they're strict, is that what you're saying? You won't be going back ever, will you? I shall make the earth my home. And I shall What's never, never leave what? it. What? Hmm. And he'll realize that they're cuter girls at school. Hmm. Ever taste gargan flesh? Ever taste Dr. Pepper lip smacker? Mm. Love is cooling in the sagebrush. Bucko, wow. Ooh. <laughs> that the nurse had grass stains. Oof. The moon has come from behind the cloud. Done. Hmm. Cold. Getting warmer. Derek. The crickets. We'll name the band the crickets. It's so quiet. Too quiet. <laughs> oh, here comes my mom! <laughs> Huh. How fortunate. This will simplify everything. A uh, shrimp in the gate. Ah. Ah. See if we can get that out. Go start the motor. Hurry. Hurry. For the seafood killer in you. Tonight. It's a rocked lobster. Whoa, whoa. Turn down the Firebird Suite. Bye, Derek. Wrong way. There we go. See you, kids. Mm, most terrifying thing I've ever seen. And the lobster was Why bad, too. <laughs> Must have been damaged somehow when Thor was thrown in the crash. Thrown in the crash? That, that thing would keep growing. And, and the lobster, the too. I can stop it from wrecking the city. And... I may be able to repair the damaged part of the disintegrator. If I can, we will stop the Gargan and give the Earth a weapon against invasion as well. If only I can get it to work. Will Derek get it to work? Tune in next time. Hey, what's a snap look like anyway? I'm Kurt Gowdy. Join me and Phil Harris as we go after Big Texas Lobster. Shoot first, seek to understand later, my friend. What was that? Snail diver, shoot it! Only a coyote. Slamming in Sam Sneed. There it is! Who? Oh, that'll happen. You're bound to lose a few of your hunting party right away. Oh no, and he reads too! Oh, oh a lot of seeds Apple in his stuff. He was so exhausted he fell sound asleep with all his clothes on. And then he soiled himself. You think you can fix it, Derek? I have found the damaged part. It's gonna cost you. Such a little thing. It's a copper seven. And yet it has the power to destroy as it does. It is worthless. Oh, it is a copper seven. Unless I can seven. figure out an energy substitute. Maybe it won't come into the city, Derek. It will come to the city. Yeah, it needs to cash a check. For more food, if nothing else. Oh. Well, then I should set out some snacks. Meanwhile, at the outhouse on the hill, it's Mel Brooks in Life Stinks. No one to say when, that's my motto. Huh? This is Johnson at Station 86. My house just the disappeared. The northeast. There's some kind of a monster. It suddenly bobbed up and seemed to touch the sky. Again. I have not been drinking. <laughs> No, Much. I can't see it now. It must be behind the hills, but I'm getting out of here. Gag. Come on, old friend. The few remaining survivors of the search party that was attacked report that the beast they encountered was many times the size they expected, indicating that the monster has some strange power of rapid growth. An exact description take this. was... Come on, take it. We have a There's a piece of green machine. something between According your... To a report oh. not yet confirmed, a beast of seemingly gigantic proportions has been sighted lurking in the hills due northeast of town. I don't have any City pants on. have called for military help. Planes and troops are expected to arrive within the next two we hours. Roll. And on the lighter yeah. side... <laughs> ...places of safety. Cellars, bomb shelters, as directed by civil defense administrators. I repeat. your car <laughs> hey crow what's up oh just thinking watching the Red. snack food drift by uh, nothing much ever happens around here black makes me realize how alone we are you know what i mean black 
Mm -hmm. Hanging in space like a giant speck of food floating in the ocean, yeah. sooner or later to be swallowed up by some right. creature floating by. Right. Another day in paradise. Yep, yep, yep. There's a load of deck, isn't it? Black. I mean, uh, come on, what if there is no supreme being? Wouldn't that be a fine how do you do? Oh, there's a supreme being, all Black. right. Black. Well, okay. Black. Hey, Tom, what have you been up to lately? Red. Oh, Wrong. well, you know me. I try to ward off my belch words with my hobbies. Uh, red. Wrong. Uh, well, I finally finished off that TriStar Pegasus logo we're going to use in our next movie pageant. Oh, really? That's yeah, good. boy, trying to get those little wings to stick. <laughs> wow, I'd really like to see that sometime, you well, know? Well, sure, you know, I got it right down here. I hey, guys, there's a ship coming into view. Ah, Crow, you're plum loco. It's probably just some big goomy bear from before. Uh, no, 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 <laughs> it's a skull cruiser. Hey. It's it, it's black and demonic, and it spreads darkness and death. Cool, guys. Crow, you're so high, Red. Gummy bears, uh, uh, gummy bears don't spread darkness and death, uh, d do they? Uh, and, and it's piloted by a ghostly figure with a fell countenance and deadly intent. <laughs> you, you guys gotta see this. No, no, I think you're just seeing one of those packs of Jordan almonds we shot out. Oh, 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 it's naked and rocking number nine, quick! Boss! Hooker headers and thrush pipes, wolfers and tweeters and bears. Oh my! Hey guys, check out the Hexfield view screen. Wow. Oh, cool. Uh, 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 huh? Uh, what? Uh, I think he's uh, trying to tell us something. Uh, Man, Jeez. was that lame! Wow, oh, do over! God, oh, that seems was like kind of a jip. Man, oh. that wasn't cool. That was the dumbest visitor ever. Well, that janitor was pretty dumb. Well, that's true. Well, you know, the guy with the thick glasses, he was. Oh yeah. yeah hey, yeah. Uh, Tom, you know that Pegasus you're working on? This yeah. uh, horse is a cow. Uh, does it really make a difference? I don't think so. No. We'll be right back. I can help, Derek. I'm going with you. Oh, boy. It's got a little feet tall. What's all the commotion about? Grandpa, Derek and I are going out to the edge of town. Wait for us here. First, I must put the disintegrator back together. It's a monster at the edge of town. And then find proper tools. I can load the car with every tool we have in the garage. I can load my right. pants. Let mm -hmm. us go. Good. The Streets of San Francisco, a Quinn Martin production. Epilogue. What the heck? Before it was a little town, now it's the Hollywood Hills. I'm not going in the tunnel. It's Sunday morning in Hollywood. Come on down to Bargain Clown. Hey, where'd she go? Too late to go swimming? Why aren't you in the cellar, Gramps, with Betty? What makes you think Betty's in the cellar? She's, out she's somewhere not with buried down there with her mother. Everybody's supposed to take shelter. The monster from the cave, it's approaching the town. Huh? Hmm? Then that's where they must have gone, those crazy kids. Joe, we've got to try and find them. You mean they... Yes. yes. Come on, then. Let's go. Come on, Joe. We gotta go. Me on my own. What is parking? Teach me of parking. Look. What, behind the flying lobster? Drive away from you can't cut live wires. Oh. Derek, my door. De I'll get it. <gasps> what? Oh, what's this button for? Ah! Emergency. Hello, you Spiegel! With the city electrical generating plant. Oh. Hurry! He thinks he's the Wichita ah! lineman. Quick! Come on. Generating. Plant. Simpson here. Hello? Please listen to me. You must do as I say. The monster is coming towards the town. If you'd like to speak I'm to an operator, press road. one. We have a weapon here that might be able to stop it if we can connect it to the power line. Who is this? Wait, is this Hello, Bob? Jim. You have to believe me. There's no time to check with anybody. Whoa, time for my break. Out there, that looks like them. Derek is climbing down a pole. Mm -hmm. And look what's coming. We're not going to make it in time. Oh. 
You've got to be kidding me. We scored the power and it's ready. Hello? Turn the power back on. Okay. Please, can I get you anything else? I have fixed your socks and underwear. It is not enough. Mm. It is not enough power. Can you boost the power any? Please, it's not enough. I'll try to speed up the generator. I'm doing everything I can, Captain. Some kind of weapon, but it's not doing anything. Ah! <laughs> Oops. Vapor action. If only there nice. were more power, Betty. Is there any way to generate more power? We've got to have more. I could join in more circuits, but if we blow up the he line. sounds like Derek. Try yeah. anything. It's our only chance. Well, I could pull this other power handle. Oh yeah, I don't know how to do it. There we go. Pod. Good night, sweet crustacean. Gee, your hair smells terrific. You can turn the weapon over to the scientists now. Hmm? There's someone who can help you. It is too late. You mean they're coming? To take me away? Uh -huh. Your people are here for you. I must leave. My people will go they your will take people. Care of you. But Derek, you promised. You said I know what I must do. I have to take a meeting. You must not interfere. All right. Betty, thank heavens you're all right. And thank goodness for the new generous cut of my depends. Focus indeed made you forget many things. We are the supreme race. We have the supreme race. Ah, weapons. turn Rush Limba off. Yeah. I've always known you, but we've never been apart. Boy, this guy can do a lot of great voices. Whenever there's a cop beating up a guy, I'll be there. Will you? Tomorrow is another day. That's not what your country can do for you. Let me get a weapon like that. It makes me think of what the killer used. Grandpa, couldn't you sit in back? It is. The same thing. But who is he? Where did he come from, anyway? Some place none of us has ever heard of before, Joe. What do you mean? Chuggy Chuggy Kanton? Claire from hmm? another planet. Oh, she, she came from planet Fly Claire. Hey, wait a minute. Benny, yeah. this is no time to be joking. I'm not joking. I'm doing improv. Where do you hmm. think the monster came from? And the man who was doing all the killing and, and the unheard of weapon he used. A big crab, sure, but a man from they space? Came in a, <laughs> a spaceship of some sort. Whatever those people told you they saw last night. The flying saucer? And I thought those people were seeing things. Yeah, a good they reporter weren't. really listens to people. Derek looked into the sky just before he left here. Look to the sky. Somehow, he could tell more on the way. What a fruitcake. Mm -hmm. Looks like it took them all night to get home. Ah, cripes, they need a nap. I haven't had one in 45 minutes. in the house. There's our car. Derek! You turned into Bobby Goldsboro. You know, everything works but the shoes. Maybe those gloves. Goodbye, Betty. No, Derek, no. You are Joe? I am not. I want you to take me somewhere in your vehicle. Disneyland. What makes you think I will? You refuse to take me? That's right. I'm staying right here. You will do as I say. Oh, no, Derek, this isn't you. Do not interfere, Betty. I beg you. Get in. No, we can't have a plot twist this late in the movie. Ugh. Now, listen, if I don't get in that car, I'm going to regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. Soon. Take me to where they are keeping the prisoner. The killer? No, the He's prisoner. General Hospital, but then take me there. I want to meet Luke and Laura while I'm there. John Doe's a disintegrator. It won't. Betty. No run on sentences. Trust me, Betty. Trust me. Oh, I like that they race to the scene, but they park this carefully. This building. 
Looks like they haven't transferred him to city jail yet. Nope. What are you planning to do? Never mind. I'm going to try to catch Oswald in the parking ramp. But... Out of the car and walk in front of me. Okay, now wet your lips and work that booty. I have good posture. I know I do. Hey, do you mind? Do not move. I will take the prisoner. <laughs> Get their guns. This is the most incompetent prisoner transfer since Dallas, 63. Hand them to me. Now get in. Now dance. Dance! Do the two-step! Jack Lillane, everybody. Jack Lillane. Where's Elaine? Elaine. Elaine Lillane. Scooch over. I'll ride Ray Gun. the wall. Keep your hands above your heads. Okay, now shake them. I was stupid, Thor. <laughs> Very stupid. But that is over. We are returning to meet the ships. Together. Why do you let them live? Kill them! There is no need. They will be dead soon enough, <laughs> along with everything else on this planet. Go. Like you've never goed before. What's your dream, Gramps? Up oh, first Wednesday of the month. Ships of an alien source are approaching from the sky. Yeah. Radio contact the sky has been never sleeps. cannot no. be established. Instructions are to prepare for an attack by an unknown enemy. <laughs> Children lose the ability to walk. Oh, crepes, look at that. I'll never get my bulbs in. <sighs> Hold me. Sure it's pretty up here, eh? <laughs> what made you think he was coming here? Mm. They're coming. To take me away, ha ha. Told me they'd be coming. Told me he wouldn't go back with them. Looks like Grandpa's got an staying. elaborate network of trusses under that sweater. I wanted to stay. Betty. Let me take you back home. No, Grandpa, look, here comes Joe's car. And as always, there's plenty of free parking at the quarry. Mm -hmm. Movie really picks up from here, doesn't it? Everybody gets to be a hostage in this movie. Betty, Gramps, what are you doing here? Why do you concern yourself with them? Destroy them. Why, Thor? They cannot change what is going to happen. What is going to happen, Derek? Subdivisions. Inevitable. Walmarts, Mega Mall, you lots of them. Understand. I'm a magic man. Must come to all. Sooner to some. <laughs> Later to others. Scarecrow, I'll miss you least of all. The guide ship is about to land. We must mm. go to meet it. Your promise, Derek. Don't you remember your promise? Here's your stupid ring back. I have not forgotten it. I had my feelers crossed. But that I would oh they call that the guide ship. Yeah, and they call the wind Mariah. It looks like there are a hundred more still in the sky. What are they going to do? Derek. Oh, I wish we could pan over there, but uh, you know. With thousands of those horrible creatures. Like the one Derek killed today. Why are they bringing them here? For a Mr. Steak, they summertime bacon, food. clam bake. Safe distance from their own people. And they don't care what happens to us? Nope. Derek cared. He wanted to make the Earth his home. Oh. Promised he would never leave. Oh, your problems are the most important, aren't they? Joe! <laughs> hey, Joe. I would have used the disintegrator on them. But it will not function without energy supply. It could have. Didn't want to. It was damaged when you crashed. Oh. I had to bluff with it. It is just as well. I sound like Gilbert you Godfrey. You'll be the first victims of the Gargan herds. Oh, your hair's done, Mrs. Anderson. Oh, great. It's Mr. Torcha again. So you were able to bring him back, Thor. Torcha! Brought me. I am sorry I acted the way I did. I am ready to take my punishment. There will be no punishment, my son. Oh, well, there's got to be at least two more Russian aviators in that thing. You are my father? I am. I have watched your progress since you were born. You have excelled in all things. Give me that beard. I was most beard. disappointed to learn that you were deserted. <laughs> I came this trip 
hoping I would find you would return. Any cough drops, Has Dad? what I have done not disqualified me? Am I still to... You are back. That is all that matters. We'll kill the fatted calf The mistakes calf were made because of that book. It blurred your mind, but only temporarily. What? Uh, oh. How is it you are able to leave the planet? It's a spaceship, Pull and you just sort of boom with the thing in this... We will return immediately, as soon as the Gargans are unloaded from the fleet of ships. <laughs> the people are unaware that I am gone. Yes, we must leave quickly. If your absence were discovered, it would likely spark the beginning of a revolution. I am not the only one who had that book, Father. Well, if you yes, go carrying pictures of Chairman Mao, you, you ain't gonna make it with anyone, anyhow. may have such books. Yes, I... Hmm? I see the fleet is approaching. Major Luck. Yep. They are flying from radio signals from the guide ship, are they not? That's a little torture! Let me be the one to direct them in for landing. Captain, are the hmm? ships close enough to receive the landing signals? Momentarily, but... Then you... go below, Derek. You will bring them in. I'm convinced he's turned bad. But what about torture? Safely. Say, I'll just be guiding him in. <laughs> no crashing. <laughs> Sucker, so long, screw ya. See you in St. Louis. Ya. Derek, what are you doing? Unhook the hatch. Tom, is that you making that noise? Looks like Derek went in first. Are we and still in this movie? the entrance way. Whatever's in the sky, they're getting mighty close. Derek has some plan. He's not doing what they want him to, I'm sure. Okay. I'd like to sing Rhinestone Master Cowboy. Control fleet. Master control to fleet. Increase speed. The papers want to know whose shirts you wear. To minus point zero eight. You. Increase speed. Open this I impede you. Seem to be converging and increasing their speed. They cannot land. He's not trying to have them land, but crash. They're coming right at us. Derek's doing it. That's what he planned. Mm -hmm. But he's inside there. He'll be killed too. Get down inside the cave. Oh Lord, let it be quick. Oh, bite me, Dad. You're oh, so embarrassing. Oh, Daddy. Okay. Faithful. They turned it into Mount Vesuvius. Hmm. Kingsford tonight. That is late quickly. Ah, the Foley man's frying up a burger. Yep. Oh, criminy, there's little chunks of Derek everywhere. Yeah. Uh, toss Sparky into a bag. Let's get out of here. It's beautiful up here, isn't it? Joe, uh, do you want to get back together? Somewhere. It's his graduation photo. Oh. Killed in Vietnam. You know, he first had one taken with his hockey uniform. Somebody opted <laughs> for that one. Sing us out of here, Derek. Many of the Mercury players have never been in films before. Here are some of them. Well, let's go home. I got a room to oh. rent out. Look to this day, young graduate, as you move on into your new life. In today's experiment, our alien teenager's slenderizing attractive space garb is obviously a clever combination of $30 off the rack fleet farm coveralls and just the right amount of duct tape. Well, our fall line is out, and weren't we just the teensiest bit inspired by today's experiment? Mm -hmm. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> so, camp out our first model, please. <clears throat> Inspired by the practical frivolity of a Donna Karen, here's Joel cavorting in a peppy jumper, accented with red duct tape piping for the right amount of come-hither sensuality. I've taken a daring approach for our fetching lad, eh, Mr. Crow? Oui, oui, monsieur. But wait, isn't that gad about gadfly Tom Servo in my calf-length tunic with opaque leggings striped with a teasing smack of bright but serious permaseal gaffer tape? <laughs> well, now, I wanted to see Crow in some something a little co-ed that absolutely screams fall. And by golly, didn't I get it. Coverall meets Polo in this rugged, tape-striped rugger jersey with a khaki pant and a touch of merry old England. Eh, what? What? 
What? Oh, oh, my turn. <clears throat> I'm just in time for the cruise season, and our little cruiser sports my sassy nautical theme in a navy coverall with white gaffer piping. It's gosseted for an easy feel, and guess what? Bell bottoms are back, and just in time. Well, you can swab my deck anytime, sailor. By the by, you were a dream at the shoot session. I'll work with you any old time. Well, from ship to shore, Tommy. Uh, now, how many times has this happened to you? Dinner, Mr. President? Tonight? Why, sure! Now what do you do? My versatile black cotton broadcloth with shiny gloss duct tape lapels and accents comes to the rescue with our little ingenue. From chaos to Kenny Bunkport in minutes. And just in time. Evening may be Tom's, but the night belongs to Crow. Wow. My eyes can't help but turn at the sight of this magnificent little nothing. Uh, yes, it's the classic uh, Joe Namath uh, netted slingshot Joel, 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 uh, things got a little carried away at the photo session. <laughs> we were discussing JFK, the film, and one thing led to another. And <laughs> well, so, yes. honey, if you got it, flaunt it, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, I let's mean, do a letter, okay? Yeah, let's read a letter, shall well, we? You look very, very well. Sure. Well, this one says, "Dear Joe," uh, let's put this up on Joe? Still Store Canva. Mm -hmm. It says. My who family likes your shows, except my mom. She hates the jokes you make. Oh, we all are fans except for her. What should we do? The Amadi, San Jose, California. And it shows an unhappy mom. Hmm. Just tell mom to wait for Lawrence Welk to come back. <laughs> Ooh, what a burn. That's somebody's mother. This next one comes from, uh, put it up on the still store, the Gamera team. University of Kentucky College of Medicine. Mm -hmm. Dear Joel Crow, Tom Servo, and Gypsy, a number of us here on Earth at the University of Kentucky College of Medicine, stop it, were greatly inspired by the Gamera movies shown last year on MST. So inspired, in fact, that we named our pediatrics ward team after Gamera himself and became the Gamera team. And let's show a picture of them. And that's some of the young... Not very good. They'll yeah. be doctors oh, no, someday. It's fine. I feel secure and safe knowing that they're going to be practicing medicine on human beings. What do you think, sirs? <laughs> and, then the, and then the clam says, I thought I was a bivalve. <laughs> oh, I see you've heard that one. Oh, excuse me, dear. Joel, I was just entertaining. Until next time, uh, pour the wine and then push the button, Louis. Oui, oui, monsieur. Help me. So have I told you I have a man up in space? No, literally, I have a man up in space.